This is incredible. I have the receipt in my hand and I have the credit card statement on my phone, but I still can't believe how much I paid for these. $22. That is nuts. So let's get right into this. You guys can see the title, the cheapest pair of sneakers from every single brand. This wasn't even a video I was planning to do, but I had the inspiration when I was looking through the sale rack and I saw this pair of shoes for $29.99 Canadian. You do the math, that's like $22 US. I got these for $22. Dollars. I know lots of you Canadian viewers always ask why I talk about things in US dollars. Well, that'll be because two thirds of my audience lives in the States. Just makes it a lot easier for everyone. So as always, thank you for tuning in today. I do really, really appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And you really want to follow me on Instagram today because one of these sneakers that I buy in today's video is going to be given away to one of you guys. Just comment your Instagram name down below. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and in around three or four days I will scroll through all the comments and randomly pick one person that can win any one of the sneakers that they want from today's video. $22 for this pair of shoes. That has to be the cheapest Reebok ever sold of all time. Now it's nothing fancy and buying the cheapest pair of sneakers from every single brand isn't gonna get you collaborations and it's not gonna get you anything crazy. But for $22, this is a really good shoe. It's relatively stylish, it's really comfortable. The materials, like the leather is freaking, still smells like a cow. Like this is a freaking good pair of kicks. These usually retail for around 60 to 80 dollars depending on the colorway depending on the model and they usually go on sale like I see this for 40 50 dollars all the time but for 22 dollars this has to be one of the biggest steals that I have ever seen in a pair of sneakers like oh my goodness I was walking around and I just didn't believe the price I was like 29.99 Wow. Okay, I wasn't that excited, like I didn't actually say anything out loud, but you get the point. I don't even know what these are called. These are called the the classic leather. These, these are just called the classic leather, and they are that. They are classic, and they're leather. Reebok, I have to give it to you. You are definitely the most accurate brand with your sneaker names. I didn't know what I was going to do with this pair of shoes, and I thought I might just buy it for a giveaway or something because it was so cheap. But after picking it up, it inspired me to see what other brands have to offer for this cheap, or maybe even a little bit more expensive. We're going to be hitting up Nike, we're going to be hitting up the Adidas outlet, and we're going to be hitting up the Van store and seeing what the cheapest pair of sneakers we can buy it. I'm going to buy a pair of shoes from each of those stores. I'm going to take you guys with me into those stores, and I'm going to bring you guys back here and show you what I bought. This is going to be really, really fun. And at the end of the video, I want you guys to decide which brand had the best sneaker for the cheapest at their store. So without further ado, let's hop in the car and get over to the Adidas outlet. All right, so we are at the Adidas outlet. Now this place has been known to have some ridiculously cheap shoes. They don't have any really popular stuff, Ultra Boost, NMDs, or anything like that, I don't think, but like really good possibility we find a pair of shoes for under $20 here. Okay, I actually take this back. They do have some cool stuff. They have the City Sock Parlay Pack. These are 150 Canadian dollars, so we're not gonna be getting those. But this is actually a pretty cool pair of shoes to see here. W at Adidas picked up a pair of shoes for crazy cheap. Now we're gonna hit up Nike and we're gonna hit up the van store. I'm not allowed to film in Nike, so I'm just gonna go in there, secretly find the cheapest pair of shoes I can, and then I'll get back to you guys and show you what we got. We have returned from our shopping spree and we got a pair of shoes from Vans, a pair of shoes from Adidas, and a pair of shoes from Nike. I'm not gonna lie, 
when we started this challenge, I thought we were just gonna buy completely trash shoes. Like I thought we were gonna be getting garbage, and I thought we were gonna be getting terrible shoes that no one would wanna wear. I'm not gonna lie to you, we got one or two of them, but we also got some really nice shoes as well. So I wanna start off with Vans. Now, Vans, little bit of an asterisk here. I didn't actually end up buying this pair of sneakers because this was the cheapest pair of shoes they had on sale at Vans. It was only $40, it wasn't an outlet store or anything, so they didn't have any crazy sales. $40, but I had almost the identical shoe sitting at home and didn't think it was worth the $40 to spend on it. So it was an all black canvas old school low. Now this is a leather old school low. I've worn it a couple times. It's a little bit dirty, but essentially the exact same shoe for only $40. Dollars, which is crazy. You add this up with the $22 on the Reeboks, and that is $62 on two pretty nice, classic, and really wearable pairs of shoes. Now, I actually like the canvas version a little bit better than the leather. I think it scuffs up nicer, it ages nicer than this leather. I mean, I'm not complaining. This is a very cool model as well, but $40 for this sick pair of Vans. They had a whole bunch of other stuff there as well that I wish I could have showed you, but this was definitely my favorite thing there and was also the cheapest thing there. I think there was two other pairs of shoes on sale for $40, but it's like some weird pastel pink thing and some other teal one that I just really wasn't feeling at all. This was the best pair of shoes they had at Vans, and I'm definitely not complaining. So let's switch over from Vans to my favorite brand that we got today, which is Nike. Now Nike was the one I was actually most worried about because I know lots of times they have just crappy, crappy shoes there for $30, and I thought we were gonna end up with one of those. But we spent exactly $42 on this pair of shoes and actually ended up with a really nice casual shoe that I had never seen before, but looking at them now, I don't think these are that bad. Let me just double check the name. So they're called the Nike Darwin in black, black, and white and I got these for $42 as I was saying now this isn't anything crazy it's certainly not hyped up certainly not on the radar of most sneaker heads or people that are sneaker enthusiasts but this is a pretty cool shoe if you ask me I love these strings of flywire all over the midfoot of the shoe I think that looks really really cool I love this plastic heel cage with that big swoosh right there and then my favorite part about this shoe has to be the giant black Nike swoosh on the toe. Now if they had made this white, if they would made that big swoosh white, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that would have been the most fire $42 Nike outlet pickup of all time. But as it is, I still think this is a solid shoe. The bottom really reminds me of the Roshi Run, how it's made of foam. You have these little pods with the little nubs on them. I do think these look very, very cool. Now is this the best pair of sneakers they had at the Nike outlet? By no means was this the best pair of sneakers, but for $42, I think this was well worth the money, and if you're on a budget and you wanna pick something up, this will definitely do the trick. Now check this out, we have four pairs of sneakers here as of right now, and we have spent a combined $104 on them, that is it. Three pairs of sneakers for $104. This is amazing. Where else could you get three pairs of sneakers for $104? I honestly have no clue. So let's switch over to the final pair. Now this one, oh, this one is rough. This one was from Adidas. Everything they had that was cheap was just so questionable. They had those Spider-Man Adidas d -rups. No one likes those, those things are hideous. And the, they had these, they had some tubulars that I didn't like, but these were about $10 cheaper than everything else. A very nice employee asked if I needed anything. I straight up told her, I need the cheapest shoe you have. I don't care what size it is, I don't care what model it is, just get me the cheapest shoe that you have. And I paid, at least I didn't pay that much, I paid $34 for them. So it was not that expensive, $34. These things are trash, with a capital T-R-A-S-H. These are trash. Look at this, this is just, I am not feeling these. I don't know, maybe you like them, I hate these. It is an all suede Adidas campus with no stitching. It's called stitchless Adidas campus. So these stripes are one piece, part of the upper. I don't, I don't understand why anyone would wanna wear a cream colored suede Adidas campus with no accent colors at all. It just looks so blah. Like it looks like your dad's khaki pants sort of got stuck on his shoes and are now just permanently there. I'm not a fan of these in the slightest 
at all. But they were the cheapest pair of shoes that was at the Adidas outlet and I needed to follow the rules of this challenge. So we ended up picking these up. The, these are trash, I'm throwing these away right now. If you wanna win those in the giveaway, be my guest. These, I would actually give these a solid seven and a half out of 10 when you consider the price constraints. I think this is actually a really good pair of shoes. These are freaking fire, and the Reeboks are not bad either. So those are all the shoes that we ended up picking up, the cheapest sneaker from every single brand that you can buy. Let me know what your favorite was, and let me know what your least favorite was. Hint, hint, your least favorite should be the Adidas, because those things are terrible. Make sure to comment your Instagram down below in the comment section, and follow me on Instagram, at Tom Stefanik. I will leave a link in the comments for that. That being said, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate every single one of you. All you people that are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.